Today, Call of the Beautiful came out with a request. They was they sent her what's called a what is it? A sour sop? Yes, yeah, sour sop. Okay. And she was wondering if I'm able to give her a recipe to use this ingredients as a star of the dish. So I'm not only gonna do one upload for her, I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna do a chicken recipe and a fish recipe. Alright, so we're gonna start off with this is the pulp. I'm just gonna put a little bit of some of this pulp in a blender with some water, some sugar, a little bit of spices, and we're gonna start off with the chicken. I'm actually gonna use boneless chicken thighs, uh, salt and pepper. I'm just gonna saute it here for a little bit, and I'm gonna put it in the oven with my um, sour sop uh, mixture that I'm about to make for her, and um, put it in the oven until it glazes up, and I'll be back with the finished product, but first, let me show you, Carla, okay? So we're just gonna do this real quick, okay? So, uh, I'm just gonna take half of this bag here. A little mixture. Okay, I'm doing this by eye, so you figure this by what? Maybe a quarter of a cup? All right, so we're gonna have like a quarter of a cup of that, right? And then this is like a quarter cup of spoon, so we just gotta Put some sugar in that, okay? Half a cup. Straight up honey, okay? You wanna balance it out. So, we do ooh, about a quarter cup of that, okay? Of honey. Okay, white pepper. That's just not to discolor the actual sauce, okay? Because you want to keep it light. So we're gonna go with maybe, uh, let's go with a, uh, about a tablespoon. Let's get this thing out of the way. A little bit about a teaspoon, okay? A teaspoon of pepper, white pepper. Teaspoon of salt, okay? Not too much. We'll put this in a blender. Mix it up a little bit for you. All right, let's puree it. Check this out, guys. Without all the uh, all the extra that I put in here, you can actually make this into a smoothie if you like. Just throw some ice in there, eliminate the salt, eliminate the pepper. You can put the, um, the what you call it, the honey in there. If you want, you can put some bananas in there. You can put some strawberries in there. You can put whatever in there. Just make it into a smoothie. If you're not familiar with the taste. Then just do the logic with me, please. And taste. You see how it comes out? Nice and creamy because of the honey, okay? It is kind of pungent, so. Got a little bit more honey. About another quarter of a cup. If we're gonna add some more sugar, maybe some two tablespoons. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dilute it a little bit with just cold water. So we'll bring it about about a quarter of a cup. Okay. And let's mix. Mm -hmm. 
First time making this, but I'm up to any challenge. Trust me. Taste it. Still got that little creaminess. I'm gonna have to just blend a little bit more because I diluted it with water, but I think I'll, I should have. You wanna taste this, sous chef? No? Okay, it's perfect. Adjust the flavor, guys, as you go. Taste it without all that. Without all this, I'm yep. gonna tell you back in Puerto Rico, we should just grab it out of the tree. And it's an amazing flavor, but not too many. I just want to see what it tastes like just by itself. Just like that? Just by itself? No, not too much. Not no, much. no, no, no. Just gonna coat the spoon. <laughs> Look, I'm just coating the spoon. <laughs> and taste it. Strong. Tart. <laughs> yeah, it's tart. It's mm. strong, but it is healthy. And they do make it a liquid form in most Spanish groceries. Uh, we've seen it in powder form today as we were trying and to find the pulp Juice for concentrate. Juice concentrate. So, you know, it doesn't always come in a pulp. But it depends what region you're from. Believe it or not, we try to go to a Spanish grocer and they didn't have it. We actually found it in, in a Chinese grocery. Okay. International. International. Yeah, they had everything. So... Once I saw the Puerto Rican flag, I said, well, they must have Goya products, and voila, they had it, Goya. <laughs> All right, so this is done. So basically, what I want to do is I'm going to start on the stove here, and I'm just going to heat it up a little bit, and then I want to start on the oven. And... Wait a minute. How do you put this up and down? Mm. Bake. You bake. Oh, 350. Oh, that's good. That's what I wanted. So, once I get the thighs golden brown, which is oil, salt, and pepper, I'm going to put it in the oven with the same cast iron. I'm going to cover it with aluminum foil. I'm going to cook it for 30, 350 degrees for 35 minutes. Then I'm going to remove the aluminum foil, crank it up to 400 to 10 minutes so I that I could get that nice brown crust on top of the marinade. Push on. Push. Push on. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the sucker's hot already or what? Yeah. Okay. All right. Tiny bit of olive oil, just to coat. As you see guys, every time I use any proteins on a pan, I never saturate the pan with whatever oil. There's no need to do that. Maybe hit start. Okay. It, it preheats. Preheat. <laughs> so while it's preheating, I'm going to do the chicken. All right, so look, all I want to do is just coat it. There's no need to saturate any pan. There's no need to deep fry. Okay? There's no need to. This is going to be a healthy dish because it is a healthy ingredient. And shout out to Carla Beautiful. She requested it. And here you are, okay? So we're just gonna have uh, just plain old chicken thighs here, boneless. All right, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of salt. Both sides, please. Yes, please. Okay. Yes, the chicken's been washed. Yes, already. It dried off with paper towels. Had a little bit of prep time before. <laughs> yes. I'm going to use white pepper instead of the black. Huh? Mm. You got to do the other side, don't you? Yes, hold on. Not more kitchen. 
know where everything is. Okay. Sorry, right, guys. We have to find everything. <laughs> Listen, all I have to do is just do this. Yep. All right. There's plenty of white pepper on the plate. All right. I'm just going to get a nice little sear. That's all I want. A nice little sear. Now, basically, guys, I am not cooking this chicken. All the way. All the way. So it's going to so cook the rest of the way in the oven. Exactly. <laughs> so there's no need to cook it or fry any chicken until it's fully cooked, put marinades, and then put it in the oven for another 30 minutes. Okay? As you can see, our electric stove, I have it on six or five. So it's a medium heat. Okay, I don't want it high because I don't want it popping, and I also don't want the chicken to dry. Okay, I just want to give it a nice little golden brown touch. Then what I'm going to do is that once this is cooked, I'm going to take that blender mixture that I just did, okay, and I'll put it in here. But this is what I'm going to do. Chicken. I'm going to take half of this. Onion powder. Uh, one teaspoon. Okay, tarragon, about one teaspoon, ground coriander, one teaspoon. Okay. All right. Mix it. It's still nice and thick. Excuse me, Wama. Just gonna unstick it for a bit. You notice I have not turned it over yet, I'm just under it. Okay, you can see. Now I added sweetness to spiciness, okay? Uh, what do we got, what do we got, what else? Man, that's about it. Sorry. So let's put let's put it up to two tablespoons, two teaspoons of coriander. Okay. Always taste, guys, if you're turning over your cooking. You can always add, but you can never take out, okay? Nothing yet. You raise it up a little bit to number eight. Get the cooking process. And we'll be back actually when this is brown. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay. Alright guys, so as you can see now, I'll just turn it over. Alright, I'm not overcooking it because I don't want to dry it up. Okay, I'm actually gonna turn the oven off. Let that set. In the meantime, I got this pan heating up. Because what I want to share with the chicken is leeks, okay? So, I got some leeks already cut up. So, a little bit of butter in here.
Okay. Let's melt the butter a little bit. Bring this down to a medium. Okay. And I'm actually going to throw some meats in here, which I cut up. Okay. And this is going to cook about a good 20 minutes to cook. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep sauteing them. Okay. The sous chef, you know that that's actually good. Mm -mm. Okay. I just hope this is what you're doing to show everybody. I was picking out the bad ones. Picking out the bad ones. All right, so I'm just going to saute that for a little bit. I'm just going to add a little bit of butter. When it's actually nice and wilted, then I'll add some fresh green peppers on it. In the meantime, this is already done. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to add... What are you adding? The sour sop mixture that I made with the tarragon. Okay. And the spices. Okay. We cover this up with aluminum foil. In the oven, 350, 35 minutes. And I'll be back with the end results. And I'll be back with the end results on this. All right. Apparently, this little small amount has cooked faster than the 20 minutes I said. So it's been only five minutes and it's actually withering. So I'm just going to take some fresh chopped garlic, just mix it around a little bit. All right. A little bit of black pepper. Okay. And of course, a little bit of salt. You toss it around, take it out the fire. Right, and just go let it saute a little bit more. Some more garlic in there. Okay. I'm going to let it rest, and I'm actually waiting for my chicken to be done. And I'll start with my plating as soon as my chicken is done. I'll be right back. Okay, so continuation of upload number one. This is the chicken that has the sour shop in it with the turmeric uh, and all the rest of the spices that we made earlier. Sizzling. Sizzling. So like I said, I put on the 350 degrees for 30 minutes, 35 minutes. Then I took it off the aluminum foil, 400 degrees, 10 minutes, because I wanted to, uh, I wanted the sour sauce, as you can see, the marinade become thick, okay? And bake inside, of, onto the chicken. Not inside the chicken, but onto the chicken, okay? And hey, look, look how crystallized it is. Okay, this is how you want it, Carla, okay? Because you can serve it just like that over it. So what I want to do is now, I want to plate my food. And this is the... Uh, Leak. The leeks that we spoke about early. Okay, I'm just going to take a few. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Chicken, chick, 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 chicken, with your sour sop. Okay. Let's take some of the sour sop. And there you go. Leeks with bacon, 
boneless chicken thighs with your spicy salsa marinade. Done. Bon appetit.